Jesus said in Revelation 2 in verse number 10, Do not fear any of those things which you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison, that you may be tested, and you will have tribulation ten days. Be faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. One of the easiest things you can do is become a Christian. The real challenge is remaining faithful to God, which is a task that many fail because it is easy to get distracted by the world. We love to hear stories about those like the prodigal son who hit rock bottom and see the errors of their ways and then turn their lives around. However, there is another story that is told where things start out great in a person's life. Everything is grand and that person's future looks bright. Solomon is a great example of this. When he became king, he asked God for an understanding heart to discern between good and evil. His request pleased God and God blessed him with a wise an understanding heart, and he gave him riches and honor. The kingdom grew under the leadership of Solomon. Later in Solomon's life, we read the following about him. 1 Kings 10 and verse 23 says, So King Solomon surpassed all the kings of the earth in riches and wisdom. Now all the earth sought the presence of Solomon to hear his wisdom, which God had put in his heart. Each man brought his present. Articles of silver and gold, garments, armor, spices, horses, and mules at a set rate year by year. And Solomon gathered chariots and horsemen. He had 1,400 chariots and 12,000 horsemen whom he stationed in the chariot cities and with the king in Jerusalem. The king made silver as common in Jerusalem as stones, and he made cedar trees as abundant as the sycamores which are in the lowlands. Also Solomon had horses imported from Egypt and Kiva. The king's merchants bought them in Kiva at the current price. Now a chariot that was imported from Egypt cost 600 shekels of silver and a horse 150. And thus, through their agents, they exported them to all the kings of the Hittites and the kings of Syria. If we could stop the story right here, we could have a great ending to the life of Solomon. He would be considered one of the greatest kings that ever lived for God. But from this point, our story changes. And the great image we have of Solomon's faithfulness is going to be shattered. We do not like stories like this when a great individual falls hard, but it happens. Notice what the next four verses say, starting in 1 Kings 11 and verse 1. But King Solomon loved many foreign women, as well as the daughters of the Pharaoh, women of the Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Sidonians, and Hittites, from the nation of whom the Lord had sent to the children of Israel. You shall not intermarry with them, nor they with you. Surely they will turn your hearts after their gods. Solomon clung to these in love, and he had 700 wives, princesses, and 300 concubines, and his wives turned away his heart. For it was so when Solomon was old that his wives turned his heart after other gods, and his heart was not loyal to the Lord as God, as was the heart of his father David. As Solomon expanded the kingdom, he would take on wives and concubines from those he dealt with. He may have had good intentions, but he broke the law of God when he married these foreign women. God did not make up this law to be mean. He made it up because he knew the heart of man could be persuaded. In my mind, I can see these women begging Solomon to build them altars for their false gods and for him to join them in their worship. This is a sad story indeed, especially when we read the following in 1 Kings 11, 9. So the Lord became angry with Solomon because his heart had turned from the Lord God of Israel, who had appeared to him twice and had commanded him concerning these things, that he should not go after other gods but he did not keep what the Lord had commanded. This once faithful man who was blessed by God beyond measure turned his back on God and turned to these false gods. Similar stories can be told about many Christians today who started out faithful to the Lord, but now they have turned toward the world because they have allowed the world to entice them and distract them from serving God. 
So do not say that this can never happen to you or someone you love. Instead, do your best to keep your eyes open to how you are living your life so that your story will have a happy ending instead of a sad one.